Welcome to day three in the shooting challenge. Today's shot is the Toe Dragon Snipe inspired by the pros. Just like every other shot in our challenge, we're giving you unique ways to score beyond the basics that everybody always practices that work in a game. And this is part of our 30 shots and 30 days challenge that is on the pond where we have step-by-step, -step, easy to follow courses for shooting, stick handling, skating, passing, and more. We'd love to have you join us over there, but for now, let's get to the challenge. Day three of the 30 shots in 30 days challenge and this one is going to be a bit of a challenge for the newer players, but if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. In this one, inspired by Austin Matthews, we were going to add a variation to the in tight snipe that we worked on yesterday, so I hope you got a few decent shots off, because in this one, we're toe dragging out of traffic and then bearing up top. Sometimes there's a rebound and there is a cluster in front of the net. There's defensemen, there's sticks, there's shin pads, there's skates. You can't shoot that puck because everybody is in front of it. So you need to retrieve that puck and then get that shot off. So throw some stuff in front of the net. I've got my handy dandy pass rebounder as an obstacle today and we will be using that tomorrow. So if you haven't already built one, make sure you go ahead and do that. I do have a video on how to make one really quickly. So make sure you do that today so we can use it tomorrow. And I also have uh, Hilbert's pad. We took him out of the net today, just working on those targets. So throw some stuff in front of the net, throw a pile of pucks, let's get started. Very simple, what we're gonna do here is toe drag the puck out of traffic and then try to get a good shot on net. You will probably notice that your shot is not as accurate when you're shooting right off of a toe drag. Maybe you'll notice that half the time you can't even bring it in because you're not getting that toe drag off. So there's two things to practice. Number one is a decent toe drag and pulling that puck in. And number two, shooting it really quickly off of that toe drag. Oh, and I guess number three would be being accurate because it is harder if you have two other things that you have to complete before you try to be accurate. So that's the challenge. If this is hard for you, then work on more of a subtle toe drag, just a little one, a small toe drag first. And then as you get a few decent shots off, challenge yourself more, work on more of a sweeping toe drag, work on really reaching and yanking that puck in, add some speed to it. If it's not hard for you, well, find some ways to challenge yourself by going faster, uh, reaching more, having more obstacles, doing it on the move. Maybe you run by and grab it really quickly and get that shot off. There's lots of things you can do. Make sure you challenge yourself. It's okay to make mistakes. In fact, I encourage it. That's what practice is all about. Practice is about messing up, making mistakes, being uncomfortable, and that's where you learn. You learn from the uncomfortable moments. A good practice is not you doing everything easily 100% of the time. If that's how you practice, you're not challenging yourself enough, and you're actually barely learning anything. You're just working the rust off. You're staying the same. Once you start to feel uncomfortable, making mistakes, messing up, feeling like you're terrible, that's where you're gonna make the most improvements. You have to find that area, you have to push yourself to it. So be comfortable being uncomfortable. When you're doing this challenge, remember the tip from yesterday, focus on that top hand really yanking back and using that bottom hand to kind of guide the puck to where you want it to go. If you're using that top hand for the toe drag, keeping it out and then yanking it back, you should get a nice fluid all in one motion toe drag and snap. And once you've got that and it feels good, you're gonna be using that in the game. Another thing to remember is to switch up the routine. If you find something easy, try to make it more challenging. You can do this further from the net. You can add more obstacles. You can put the net on an angle. You can run into it. There's all kinds of different variations that you can add to this to make it your own and challenge yourself. As you come out here and practice the 30 shots in 30 days, be curious, discover things, mess around. And uh, you know, let me know in the comments of this video or any other video, what worked for you, what didn't work for you. By sharing your knowledge, we can all get better together. And stay tuned for the next one, day four. We're gonna be shooting off the pass. This is, this is huge. If you haven't been practicing this, you need to because so many shot opportunities or goal opportunities come from a pass. The better you are at ripping that right when it gets on your stick, the better you are at scoring. That's what we're gonna do tomorrow. See you there. Oh, and don't forget to make a pass rebounder. All you need is a bungee cord and a stool or a chair. I've got the video in the lessons page, so check that out. And I'll see you tomorrow with your own pass rebounder because we're going to be shooting off the shot. Hope to see you tomorrow for day four. If you're looking for even more ways to improve your skills, you can join us on the pond. I have the link in the video description where we have all kinds of step-by-step -step training courses to help you improve your skills.